Hey, today I'm going to show you a couple tips on Bluebeam. I made this really cool exhibit. I just want to show you how I made it. All right, so let's start off by opening up our markups bar. Let's, let's walk through what this is. So on this exhibit, there are 11 different walls. If I type in wall, you can see these top four walls, one, two, three, and seven. On the bottom, these are CIP walls. These ones are a little bit deeper. And then in the middle of our project are four Gabian walls. So also what I'm showing on here are different borings that were done. The green ones are in shallow, the red ones are deep. I'm also gonna show you some of the soil information. Come up here, go to filter list. I'm gonna select soils. I believe there's a green one on here as well. I guess they could have also searched by color. And then I can also draw in the little boundary lines. And I actually put in some hatching as well so you can really make the different soil labor labels pop. All right, so how did I actually make this? And I'm gonna start off by just making a new sheet. This is the same document, just page two. And then I'm going to hit control two, which is bringing up a different visual over here. So now I kind of have the same document and I can look at it in two different places. So where did I find that little graphic to start with? I looked at a plan sheet and on that plan sheet, there was a key map. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna use my snipping tool. You can use it this way, or if you look on here, there's a shortcut that says Windows Log Key and Shift plus S, which is what I like to do. So I'm gonna hit Windows Shift S. See, I'm gonna snap like that. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna paste this. And I'm going to draw this right onto here. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to right click on my drawing, go to lock. And that means I can't move it. So if I have markups on top of it, it's not. I'm not gonna accidentally move my image. All right, let's go back to our drawing here. So this is just a typical text box. Summary, I must have some filters on. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. How about 18? Zoom and I'll push Alt Z to shrink my box. Make this black, add a black line, half a point. If I make this zero, it'll make that box go completely away. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Next up, I wanna draw some walls in. I can just use my pen. I can now come in here, select all of these. And I'll make these five. So now I'm gonna draw with my callout box one, CIP to get the idea. Probably clean this up a little bit. Two, three. Next, I'm gonna draw in a couple more walls down here. A wall there. There's a wall over there. Make these five points. I could also draw these in as a line, which might be nice, because then I could make them look a little bit cleaner. I right, right click on this, and I can also convert to arc. If I have a curve wall, such as this one. This blue, five, PBN, wall number seven, so on and so forth. I do want to draw on these last three walls on here. It's pink. And the reason I'm doing these different colors is because they're much easier to search for. All right, we have pretty much all of our walls in. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is I want to bring in these shallow boring numbers. And what I'm going to do to Draw those in is I'm going to pull up my geotech report. All right, so you can see on our geotech report, we have different borings. You know, some of them are deep borings, some of them are shallow borings. How do I draw these on here? So I could just put a dot and that would probably suffice, but I wanted to try to make them look similar. I could cheat if I wanted to and do a little screenshot and bring this guy in here. That would not be a bad option, but I actually went, I actually went through and physically drew it on the last one. So I'll show you how to do that. So I drew a circle. And then I drew a line, and then I drew another line, like so. This might be a little bit overkill, but you know, if I hold shift, it'll make an actual circle. Highlight all this, make it black. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and do my polygon where I can make different colors. This, I'm gonna right click here, cover to arc, and then I'll control shift and it'll copy this. And then I can rotate this 180 degrees. Not perfect, but Pretty good. I'll make this zero point so that you can't even see it. And then I'll make this red and same here. I am going to copy this by highlighting this and hit, holding control and dragging this over. Okay, there, right, so I'm gonna hold this and this, these together. I'm gonna make these ones green. Okay, so now I'm gonna do highlight this and I'm gonna right click and go to group or hit control G. Now this is all one, one item. So with that, control G, I can actually rotate this 90 degrees so it looks more like this one. Now I have my control points and I can shrink them or make them bigger depending on how I want them to look. So let's go through and I'll add a couple. And if you want to label them, you could boring. I might add 
border. I could actually highlight these both together, shift to click both of them, and then I can drag both of them together. So that's a cool trick. How to end the soils in. Okay. So the soils I just got from the web soil survey, usda.com. And I like to look based on latitude, longitude. So I just go to map, Google maps, find a place that's close. And I click on the point in Google maps and you can see it brings up coordinates, which I can copy over and put into here and I hit the click view and that will bring you closer. Now I'm going to name my area of interest. Now I'll hit soil map and zoom out a little bit. All right, so there is our soil area and you can see each of the numbers corresponds to different type of soil. So I'm gonna do another screenshot of this. I'm gonna bring this into my drawing. I'm gonna click on this properties. I'm gonna set this at 50% transparency and that will help me line it up, which is kind of what I wanna do here. So I start in that bottom corner. I'm shrinking this to try and fit it in. I'm gonna see down here trying to fit it in. It doesn't, it lines up pretty well north, south. It's not perfect. You know, I'm going to rotate this a tiny bit. I can actually rotate that very precisely. If I click and drag on this, it doesn't let you rotate it nearly as precisely as you want. If you go into the properties toolbar, you can then be very precise with your rotation. I think I actually might need a tiny bit more. That's pretty good. Next step, come back in here and I'm going to draw some more poly lines. And actually, before I draw that, I'm going to set this as yellow and so i'm gonna have to change that back now i'm just a matter of tracing see why it's really important that you line line this up really good at seven to do it again Maybe make them five same thickness as my walls you can play around with the uh, uh looks if you want okay that's pretty good so if i go back to my soils map you can actually see urban land Multnomah, urban land Multnomah. There's the really similar soils, are just different slopes. And so this is 55. This is Wapata silt loam. This is more of a wetland area. And then down here is face of this is urban land. So this is 19. So, so 55 and 19 are different. These two down here by the wetland. And then all this area is just different slopes of this urban land Multnomah complex. So I'm going to have those all be the same color. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to do my polygon. So I'm going to make all of this same color. And I guess theoretically I could have had this and I guess I could still set it that way. I will set this to that same dotted line. So I can actually delete some of these other lines. I need some of these extras in here. And now here's the borderline. I'm going to set the hat. So I could do a hatch, but I think I actually like fill at 25% transparency. That looks pretty good. So you have a hatch in there as well. So I don't probably need both. And this one I'll show you, I'm just going to turn off the line by doing a zero. And then I'm going to select fill. I'll make this one dark green with a hatch. And the last one will be make this one blue with the 20 that turn off the line. Okay. Now I'm going to actually go in here and delete this. And you can see, I probably do some cleanup in here. It doesn't look super, super pretty, but I think it was going pretty fast. I think people will get the idea. You can come in here and I believe you can add control points. It might not be able to do it with the line off or work. Yeah, you can add a control point if I want. So you can adjust this or you can, I think if you hold shift and, and delete it, I think you probably could even right click, subtract, or you can convert to arc. You can do a lot of stuff with this. Okay. So that is basically how I got all this stuff. And then you can see the last thing I did is I just copied this over. Okay. I hope that helps you in your markup skills and showed you a, a few things that I like to do until next time. Have a good one. Thanks.